I'm going to talk a little bit about week four's assignments. You have two this week, um, and so we're going to look through those. Open the lessons tab. And once again, I do hope that you are, um, let me adjust this a little bit lower. I do hope that you are reading the contents of the outside of the folder just as a checklist for you. Um, also a reminder that I keep due dates in the calendar. Now I don't really work ahead of anything that's already been assigned because I think that would be a little bit confusing. Um, so instead, you know, whatever is due the next week or if there's an assignment that covers more than one week, I'll put those due dates in. Um, just, but just to keep it from being cluttered, I don't put everything in there. Um, so just a reminder that you can, can always look in the calendar to see when assignments are due. Um, so um, you'll notice that you have two assignments. One has to do with memorandum, which is a form of business writing, and the other has to do with process writing. Um, I hear from a lot of my students that they've already had to do this type of writing before um, writing process, which is essentially either giving instructions or providing explanations for how something works. So let's take a look at the lessons for this, this two weeks. Both are due next Monday. All right, first, um, with business writing with memorandums, also known as memos, these are internal office documents. Um, they are the uh, internal version of letters. Okay, letters usually go outside of uh, a business, a corporation, um, from individual to individual, or from individual to a corporation, or vice versa. Um, memorandums are internal documents. Uh, they there's a certain format that you follow that's very specific for a memorandum, um, and Gradually, I think they're being replaced by email, honestly. Uh, essentially, since people are no, no longer keeping as many files, hard copy files, so, um, you know, emails can be doc, can be arch archived within the business, so you can keep a, like a folder of those. Um, but still, uh, just depending on the business, memorandums are still, especially if there's a filing system, they're still sort of a recommended form of communication within a business. So you'll notice if you open it that you have a reading assignment. And um, this is a section in your textbook that talks about um, memorandums. But you'll also notice that under the assignment itself, you've got, um, I've got two online resources for you that I'd like for you to look at as well. One is uh, from um, Purdue, their writing lab, and they've created a section that talks about memorandums and shows you the format and um, goes into greater depth explaining the, the different divisions. Um, and then there's also a brief YouTube video as well. And if, if you're, um, if the link doesn't open, which right now it's, it doesn't look like it's going to, all you have to do is copy it and then you can use the control key and do a control C to copy. And then in, in your, um, in your browser window, uh, I'm going to open to a new, uh, you can paste it. Okay, and it will open the YouTube video for you. The control P will paste it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to stop that and we'll go back to what we were looking at previously. Um, so I've, I've provided a lot of information for you um, so that you understand how to do a memorandum. And I'm very specific about what I want you to actually do in this, in this particular lesson. I ask you to type a memo to me so it should be addressed to me. Um, and I want you to cover what you're currently studying, why you're interested in the field, and what types of writing you think you may do, or if you're already working in that particular field, what types of writing you currently do. Okay. Um, now, what you'll need to do is type that memorandum in uh, a word as a Word document. And again, all students have access to Microsoft Word under MyGNTC. Um, so you'll copy it and save it to your computer, and then you just upload it to this uh, particular um, file. And again, the way that you do that is under Attach Files, Browse My Computer. It will open up Potential Documents. You know, you'll select and find your folder wherever you've got your, your assignments. And then you'll um, simply click on that. And, um, and once you see that the, the correct folder is there, I mean, the correct document is there, you just select um, 
here at the bottom of the screen, you can see, I hope you can see, the green submission button, and it will upload the document for you. Okay. All right, so let's, um, the only mistake students usually make with this particular assignment is they write a letter instead of a, a, of a memo. Um, and that to me just simply means students did not slow down enough to do the lessons. Once again, I do hope you're not waiting to the day things are due because that's when people tend to make mistakes. Um, so I would strongly recommend that you get started on, on your lessons far before Monday. I recognize a lot of you are not uh, because I get the due dates when things are submitted and I'm trying to, especially like this week when you had a test that opened on, on Friday, I was trying to get everybody's stuff graded, um, but you still had some lessons that you had to complete, right, for last week and I was trying to give feedback on those, but I could only do it for a few students before they actually took the test. So um, once again, you're going to uh, have a stronger grade if you do your assignments before Monday before they're due. All right, so let's go to the second. Um, that, of course, is your choice, but I'm, I'm just saying, okay, based on experience. Um, so let's go to the second um, assignment, which has to do with process writing. I actually made a living for quite some time as a technical writer um, using the format that I'm providing for you for this particular lesson. And at that time, I wrote user's manuals, and I wrote, um, I wrote, a variety of different types of documents, but this is the format anytime I was providing instructions for someone. So there is a PowerPoint that you need to um, to actually read, okay, to look through first, okay, and I select the PowerPoint, it will open. I'm not going to go ahead and open it, but it actually includes the instructions for the assignment, so you have to read the PowerPoint first. And then there's one of the slides that explains to you exactly what I'd like for you to do, okay? Um, then there's a sample document that actually shows you how your final um, PowerPoint should look. And once again, this is something that you need to type using in, in Microsoft Word, um, following the specific formatting guidelines that I provided. Anytime I'm really specific in what I'm asking from you, then that's how it's graded. For example, if I say number your instructions and you don't number them, that counts off. If I say begin with action verbs and you don't begin with an action verb, that counts off. Okay, so be sure to look at the detailed instructions carefully. And then the last thing that I want to show you about this week's lessons, um, we haven't, I don't know if you've used a turn it in Dropbox before for an assignment. This one is a bit different from just our assignment Dropboxes. Um, so the way that you open it is you select View Assignment. Now, um, my screen is going to look different from your screen, okay, because um, I have, I'm sorry that buzz is bothering me, um, because I, I do not have the option of seeing the student view, I can only see the, the instructor view. So I have all of your names here. And then once your papers are uploaded, it will show me and it will show me when you submitted it and so forth. Okay. So here's how you would go about submitting a screen, uh, submitting a document. And once again, your screen is going to look a little bit different from mine. But what you do is next to your name, you will probably find a submit button. So you select the submit button. Now it already downloads to file upload, so you don't, for submission method, so you don't have to change this at all. Your name should automatically be filled in here. But notice this blued out section, you have to actually put in a title. So I'm going to put in a title, um, let's just say I'm going to title it process right. Okay, that's required. It will not upload a document for you until you've actually entered a title. Um, submission part one, just ignore this. Um, they're not separate parts to this assignment. And then the next thing you have to do is again find the file on your computer that you want to upload. All right, so I'm going to go to choose file. And um, let's just say I'm going to, um, this is my document. So I'm going to double click that. You'll notice the title appears here. Now, um, Tara, please do not be frightened. I'm going to go back and delete this after I upload it. Okay. Um, but once you've submitted it, you're not, once you've found it, you're not done. You have to, to go to submit paper. I still want you to wait after you do this because if you do it successfully, what will happen is this. It's taking a minute. Okay. It will give you a digital receipt. This verifies the fact that you actually, and I think it also emails you this receipt, this verifies the fact that you actually did upload a document. So there's never any question 
okay, well, I did it and it and it didn't upload. No, if you if it uploaded, it will you'll get a a, a a receipt for it, okay? And so you can either print that, which you don't need to do, or close it. And then also notice, um, I don't know if you noticed, but at the top of that, I'm going to do another one um, to show you. So we'll choose the next student, and I'm going to choose a file. And so I double click, there's my file name, submit paper. If you are successful, all right, what this red shows me is that it was not not a successful upload. And it usually tells you why. And in this case, I forgot to put a title. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to type in uh, process rights. Okay. Now notice my documents. Um, okay. And I'm going to go do the submit taper, paper. Okay, I'm going to have to back out of this because for some reason, now let's try this again. There's my title, but it's not giving me an option to actually upload the paper. If you run into some, if everything goes well, you will have a green bar across the top instead of that red bar that indicates there was a problem. If you run into something like this, because you'll notice it's not allowing me now to, um, to find a file and upload it. Um, if you run into a problem like this, let me let me just go back to the beginning. Go back to this. Maybe you can back back out of it and try it again. Um, choose file. All right, there's the file. Submit paper. It takes a minute and there's the there's my digital receipt and there's the green bar across the top that says I was successful if you run into some problems email me um, but please understand I prefer that you upload your own papers rather than have email them to me and have me do them um, for one thing it's a learning situation um, many of the different online courses do use Turnitin so it's it's good for you to know how to do it and this will not be the only assignment that you have using a Turnitin Dropbox okay now um, the way that I set up the the assignment you may upload over on top of so let's just say you finished a process right you uploaded it on Thursday it's not due until Monday and then let's say you look back at what you typed and you realize you had some problems maybe a couple of typos um, you can until Monday upload a paper on top of that document um, it just overwrites it on the due date which is Monday it will not let you overwrite anymore and it will not accept a paper after um, the due date okay because um, I've got it I've got the parameter set where it won't, won't accept it all right so that's it for this week's lessons um, I hope that you um, find them useful um, and that and, and clear and easy to understand. Uh, once again, I encourage you to do your best work. And, and finally, a, a word about um, a word about your tests. I hope to have them graded by Friday, um, so you should be able to once again go into my grades click on the grade itself, open it up, and see what you missed. Please always contact me if you have any questions. All right. Have a good week.